around on that. I'm also working on French. I know a little bit of French. Not very much, but I like to use it anyway. I like to throw it out there and people confuse them. Yell at them in French. Somebody like really hit me and I'm across from the street. I could say, Fais pas chier! Le Fonfon! Je suis un Américain, mais je crois pas à tout le français. Ça, très bien! Which actually translates to, Don't make shit for me. I'm the boss of the bakery. American, but I speak a little French not very well. Of course, I also use it with the ladies. It's a uh, very romantic language. Um, a little test here. Let's see what happens. Bonsoir, uh, mademoiselle. Comment ça va? Ça va? Ça va bien. Enchanté de faire votre connaissance. Vous vous arrachez dans ces jeans. C'est vous. Bon. <laughs> That actually translates to Miss, our time together has been so lovely. It's been a real pleasure, and you look hot in those jeans. <laughs> That's what I got there. <laughs> yeah, no, I like it out there. I like it in the Los Angeles. I love it here. I love coming back as often as I can. But I got it. Good friends out there, we do a lot of fun stuff. We go out, we go to the beach, we go to shows. We, we like to keep active. Uh, recently, my friends came to me with an event that just uh, takes the cake. They came up to me and said, Hey, John, guess what? Lake Hanson Dam, they have a polar bear swim. <laughs> That's right. Los Angeles, they have a polar bear swim. Let me repeat that. In Southern California, a land of deserts and perpetual summer, they've got a polar bear swim. <laughs> so I had to sit my Los Angeles friends down and explain to them what a polar bear swim really is. You see, in Minnesota, the winter is long, and we get blown as shit. <laughs> One day you wake up and look outside and say, ah, it's 13 today. Should we go jump in the lake? Yeah, so you go out there and you go out on the ice and you bring a big chainsaw with a long blade because they're going to cut through the ice. You got to get way down there, deep down there to the water that hasn't frozen yet. That's the good stuff. That's what you want to get into. Then everybody jumps in and then they got a sauna. And the sauna is where you go after you get out of the water. And if you don't go in there, you die. <laughs> That's a polar bear swim, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it in Minnesota. We're some crazy motherfuckers. We do some wild shit. We drive our trucks out on the lake. We're allowed X amount of beers to drive in the boat. Our legal limit until recently was pretty high. <laughs> We have some proceeds. Every year, this state declares war on white tail deer. Yes, we take no prisoners. Hell, we put chunks of fruit and marshmallows in our jello salad, right? Woo! Yes. <laughs> and we come out in a big way to support one of our own, and I really appreciate that. That's my time, everybody. I really love you guys. We're all going to be drinking and hanging out afterwards. Oh, we're sad. It's so over. Well, maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Just wait until you want me to stop. Hey, okay, I'll let you in on this one. Last little bit here. This is actually my theory on how we conquer space. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay, it starts with my skin. You see, uh, I'm not a very hairy man. But in certain areas, I have some big, big black hair. No, no, no. I'm talking about my moles. Not many hairs, but right here, I got like three giant sequoias coming out. Here's the thing. That makes me think moles have got to be the most fertile substance on the face of the planet. Now bear with me. There are clinics where you can go and get moles removed. So they just chuck them in the back. Now, you sneak in there and get a sack full of these moles. I'm telling you, you can grow corn on the moon. That is how we're going to conquer space, 
my friends and family with buckets and buckets of mold. Okay, that's the one yeah, guys. We got some great comedians coming up tonight. Real professionals, they're here, they're traveling. We want to welcome you to them. God bless you all. Good night. Thank you.